Well, here we are. It is high season in Florida. This is when the snowbirds come down to escape that brutal cold from the north, come to enjoy the sunshine that we have here in Florida. And specifically, we're talking about Southwest Florida. And so I'm going to dig into what does that mean for our real estate market. Now, we had a lot that we dealt with last year with rising interest rates, Hurricane Ian, overall economy not doing as as well as everybody had hoped. And so how is that translating into the traffic for season? Well, I've got the numbers and we're going to dig right into it. So what we do every single month is we go over a overall Southwest Florida market update. And we're going to look at year over year numbers between the two primary counties in Southwest Florida. And those are Collier and Lee County. So let's jump right into it. So we look at our sold properties and in Collier County, single family, this is the latest information. This is from the December report that we have 351 single family homes that had sold and that's down 38% year over year. So that's a big number, a big drop. And in Lee, we see we have 955 that had sold. That's down 33%. So you can see that we're down quite significantly in the number of transactions that had taken place over where we were the prior year. Now from a median sale price, we're at 780,000 in Collier County, that's up 7%. So sort of a, a mediocre kind of average uh, appreciation there. Now the interesting part about that is last month that was at $850,000. So we came down about $70,000 almost 10%, about 8% 8% in one month. And then in Lee County, we're at 407,950. We'll call it $408,000 and that's up 2%. So it's basically flat compared to where it was this time last year. Then days on market, that's the big story right now. We have 42 days on market in Collier County. That's double of what it was. So that's up 100% over where it was this time last year. And 33 days on the market in Lee, that's up 120%. So more than double of where we were prior. Properties are taking longer to sell. We've been talking about that and that is true. And we also have uh, you know, the, the, the timing of that has been extended because of interest rates, because of the other factors that are going in and because quite frankly, people have more options. Now, as we look at the new listings, we have 423 new listings in Collier. That's down 1%. So not much different there. And then in Lee, we have 1,174. That's down 5% over this time last year. Now, conventional wisdom, would say that if prices are starting to retract, and we're going to talk a little bit about that, that more people would want to put their homes on the market and capture while, you know, before prices come down even further. We're not seeing that right now. That's not happening. And one of the primary reasons why we're not seeing that is because there is a reluctance to give up a low interest rate. So let's talk about that. If somebody was able to get a two and a half or a 3% interest rate on their home within the past few years, two years, three years, four years ago, and now they're considering to make a move, they have some reluctance to sell out of that great interest rate to get into a five and a half, six, six and a half percent interest rate. Like, that's just financially, there's reluctance to do that. And, and that's logical that that would happen. But what that does is that actually puts some constraint on the supply of the available properties because less people want to sell, they want to hang on to what they've got. And so that's sort of an interesting fact, you know, with all of that. Now, as we look at the pending inventory, we have 583 in Collier pending. That's down 32% year over year. And then in Lee, it's 1,542 properties pending. That's down 31 one percent. Now, these, this data is, is the data that came from out of the December report that was just released. What I can tell you that we're seeing right now is that the number of pending, so the number of properties that are going under contract over the last seven days has increased significantly once January took place, once we got into season. And what I do is every single week we track 
what that seven day pending number is. And we've been doing this for the past couple of years, every single, every single week at a specific time, we track that number. In the height of the, you know, the, 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 the market, which was, you know, basically the activity, I should say, the height of the activity in 2021, we had about 1,800 properties in all of Southwest Florida that were going pending in any given week. That was a lot at that time. Right now, we have about a thousand, a little over a thousand properties that are going pending. So you can see that's off from where the height was, but we just 100 properties or so off from where we were last year, this time last year. And so the pace of sales is off by about 10%. Nothing huge there, nothing catastrophic, but a little bit slower. Now we are seeing, we are seeing a lot of activity. I mean, we're, the open houses are very busy. There are a lot of uh, properties going under contract in the MLS, also in our office now. So that is a good sign for what's to come with the stabilization that we're seeing in the overall market. Now that puts us in Collier County as a, a total month's supply of 4.2. So that's four months of supply, meaning given the current pace of sales, versus the amount of properties that we have available, we would be out of them within 4.2 months if no new properties came on the market. Now, here's the thing. That has been down around the one month for a very long time, one month supply for a very long time. And four months means that we are at equilibrium in the market. So we have done a major shift where it was a super strong seller's market and has shifted now into more of a buyer's market, especially here in Collier County. That's up 223% year over year. Now in Lee County, we're at three months supply and that's uh, up 200% year over year. So you can see, you know, it went from one month to three months in one year's time. And that's a pretty significant, significant change. Um, dollar volume. So this is a total dollar amount of properties that exchange hands, 535 million in Collier County. That's down 31% and 520 million in Lee. That's down 40%. So here's what I will tell you in regards to the market. We have seen a retreat from a pricing perspective since May of 2022, where that really was the height of the, the market. And in Collier, that's down about 11% since May of last year. And in Lee County, it's down about 13% since May of last year. Do we see that continuing? Do we see that trend continuing? Now, what I'll say is that has really leveled out over the past few months. So we saw during the summer and as we got into, you know, right before Hurricane Ian came through, those prices were retracting somewhat quickly as those interest rates were pushing quite high. Now the interest rates are staying very stable, coming down just a little bit. And so we're starting to see some of those buyers who've been waiting to say like, are these interest rates gonna keep going because I'm not gonna do anything? The buyers who have been waiting are, are ready to buy now. Like that's starting to happen. And as a buyer, if you're looking to purchase property in Southwest Florida, you can actually negotiate negotiate now and you can get closing costs potentially covered. So there's a lot of good things that are happening in the market. So I would say that we are, you know, much, much healthier than we were in like the, the seller craze as far as the, you know, low inventory. And we seem to be at a spot right now where we're sort of in equilibrium. People are buying, people are selling, but not anything that's catastrophic as far as what I believe is gonna happen as far as like price is gonna come down or anything crazy like that. So I think we're very stable. There are people who still want to come to Southwest Florida even though we had a hurricane come through and this is just really good news. I'd like your take on what's going on in the market. If you could leave that in the comment below and also like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would sincerely appreciate that. You have an amazing day and we'll talk soon.